In this edition of our Statistician's Toolbox, we want to learn a little bit of how we can subset our data. Uh, sometimes we only want to look at a specific part of it, or sometimes we just want to organize our data. And there are a few things that we can do in order uh, to, uh, to do that and to make it look good. Okay, so first things first, let's just go ahead and copy in some data. So I've got this computer type and its speed, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy all of that. Uh, so just you can select it and copy it and then let's just go to data import and clipboard tabs and okay and i'm just going to click on view data set just to make sure that i've got it now if you notice all of my data is kind of uh kind of misorganized it's kind of mixed around and maybe i want to uh, be able to just look at just the macs or just the pcs um that might be interesting. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how we can do that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is what we can do is if you go to data and you go to the active data set, there is a whole bunch of things that we can do. Um, and also in the manage uh, variables, we can manage our variables as well. Okay, so let's go to our active data set. And the thing that we want to go to, we can do this view, select, refresh, help, variables in the active, set the case names, we can subset and we can sort. So let's go all the way down to this sort the active data set. Let's start off there. So I'm just gonna say sort and it's gonna say, okay, which one do I want to sort by? And I want to sort by the computer and uh, we'll say increasing, that's fine. And I can either do it as a new name or I can save it as the same. And I'm gonna just keep it as the same as the active data set and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And it says, OK, it already exists, but I'm going to overwrite it and I'm going to say yes. And now if I click on this view data set, look at what I have. It has all of the Macs right in a row, and then it has all of the PCs right in a row. So that's one way that we can just, if we're just trying to look at one versus the other, um, or just kind of visually get it into just two parts, we can do it just like that. So that will allow us to, uh, to sort our data. Anyhow, pretty easy. That's how we can do that. Let's look at subsetting. So let's say I want a data set that just has the Mac in it. Okay, so what I can do is I can go to data, our active data set, and this is called subsetting the active data set. So I'm gonna subset. And I want to, yes, include all the variables and the subset expression uh, that I want to use, I think is, I think I put in Mac and let's see, we'll, we'll give it a new name and I'll call it data set two. And if I click okay, let's see if it did it. Nope. Looks like I have a problem. In this edition of the Statistician's Toolbox, we are going to talk about how we can use R Commander uh, to sort and subset our data. Okay, so here we go. First things first, I'm going to copy in my data. So I've got this data set in Excel, and if I scroll down, the thing goes to like 80 or something like that. I'm just gonna copy this thing, and now I am going to paste it uh, into R Commander. Okay, and now that I've got it in here, let's just click on View Data Set, make sure that it actually showed up, and it looks like that it's just fine. Now notice how my Mac and my PCs, they're kind of all intermixed in there. Maybe I want to sort them uh, so that we actually can see uh, the two different groups. It might be helpful. Uh, you might like that. You might not, but let's see how we can do it. So what we can do is if we go to our data and our active data set, uh, there are a whole bunch of things that we could do in here. And about midway down, there are two subset data and sort the data set. So let's go ahead and sort my active data set. So in this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort it by the computer. And the sort direction will do increasing, I think just by alphabetical. And then let's give it a new name and we'll say sort computer. And I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. So now I have this new data set. This is my original one and this is my new one. And when I click on my view data set, now if you notice, my Mac and my PCs are all separated out. So that's kind of handy. It was able to sort those just how I wanted it to be. Okay, 
Now, sometimes you also might want to separate out your data sets into have just the Mac in one data set and just have the PC in another data set. And we can do that as well. So what we do is we go to our data, we go to our active data set, and we can say subset uh, active data set. And we're going to include all the variables. I want both the computer and the speed in there. Uh, and in here, the subset expression I'm going to say is computer. And then what we do is we say equals equals. And then we got to tell it what we want it to actually equal. So I'm going to say in here, I want this one to equal Mac. And for this one, the name for the data set, I'm just going to call it Mac. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now if I look at my new Mac data set, if I view it, check it out. It just has the Mac values here. So I'm able to just make a Mac data set. Now I can also do this where, let me go back to the original data set. Click OK. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's go back and let's do maybe sort computer. Oh, I guess it didn't like what I did. Okay, so let me go ahead and copy in this data set again. For whatever reason, it did not like what I did. And let's put it back in. And let's see if it'll let me do it. Okay, so I've got it back in now. Let's do a new one where we can do just our PCs. So here, if I'd want to do that, I could do uh, data. Let's do, and let's see if I can't get this selected there. There we go, I've got data set. Uh, looks like it's not liking how I stored these other ones. That's okay. We'll just go back to our data set and we will do, we'll subset this guy. So I'll subset my active data set, include all my variables, and this time I want to say computer equals equals PC. And we're going to just label this guy as PC. And if I click OK, now let's look at my PC data set. Oop, cancel. Now I've got this guy as my PC, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to close out of this guy. And for whatever reason, it's not letting me kind of switch in between these. Um, but we were able to both subset down our Mac or PC and sort them all out. So anyhow, that's how that works, how you can subset, you can sort. Uh, your data right with inside of our commander.